Right. This time, we bought another tent. OAX Hyena 2. I bought this. I paid for it. I'll tell you what I did. I went to go outdoors. Oh, I could come down a bit. <coughs> or, I could turn the camera up. It's better. So I went to go outdoors, looking for a, um, a tent to go on site, because I'm going on holiday. So I want a site tent, because I'm not putting an expensive tent on a campsite. You come back and it's gone. So this was on the shelves. It go outdoors, 65 quid. So I thought, I looked online and that was the cheapest one. So I went to the till and she says, are you a member of anything else? Any institutions like the NHS or Armed Forces or the National Trust? I went, ooh, National Trust. So I got another discount, 58 quid. I got this for 58 pound. Question is, is it any good? I got that fox in the other video and it was, it's too small to be like, I can't really use it for anything other than stealth or bike packing or whatever. I mean, this is quite big. Don't know if it'd be practical to take up a hill. I'd probably still do it. I don't know the weight of it, I'll have to check the weight. But I'm going to set it up straight out of the bag. First time set it up, see how good it is to set up. Let's see if it's easy. <coughs> the bag's nice and big, you know, when you get the little bags and can't fit them in. Tells you how to do it. If you absolutely no idea how to set a tent up, that's a good starting point there. Tells you there. Me being an expert, Gonna set it up straight from the bag, so we'll get uh, we'll get the camera in position, and we'll get on with it. Well, found out the three kilograms, three kilos for the poles. So it's quite heavy. So get the poles. Them ones, fiberglass poles. Nice around here, like. That's a big fiberglass pole. This will be the front one. It's got the, it's got like a mitered porch. I think the back is as well. Yeah, back is too. So it's got colour coding on, so I'll have the yellow one. See how that does. Get a bag of pegs. Nobody uses the pegs. Really, really cheap ones. Here we go, in an emergency. This is, the, this is the inner first. Inner built-in ground sheet. So you don't peg, don't peg that out just yet. You can attach it to the fly for future. Don't have to take it apart. Is Put the, you put the 
fly sheet up first. That's how it seems. Clock by dialing. Yeah. To do. Oh, that's better. That's all right. You put the guy in. You just put the fly sheet first. Pick it down. Got the wind at the start, didn't it? Always oh, has to be windy. Anything. Bigger than I thought, like. Make sure these belts go underneath. Speed this bit up. Surely, as long as the pole goes in front. Problem here is, so you've got the, the grey tag there and the yellow marker, orange tag there and the grey marker. They've got the poles marked wrong, short pole at the back, obvious. Saying that, whew, it's up. I hate these, I hate these things. It's so hard to get in. That's that. the main structure of the tent. So I'll fine tune it and we'll come back and put the inner in. So it will be, once we've got it set up, it will be a fly first pitch, which I think everybody prefers, don't they? I'm absolutely knackered. These clip on here. These poles, these are easy to snap. These, you know, I have to watch that. Just rolling the porch back. 
see how it opens. Just zip down the middle. Roll this back. Just tie it on here. These loops are always too big, aren't they? Double it. Double it over. Same with this one. It's huge inside. already. Okay. Yeah. It's good. So we keep these bands on the on the floor. These bands. And then I'll bring the inner in. I will get that out. <laughs> do this once. Put it in. Now, the trick is I've got to find out where these clips clip. these clips here. I'm assuming it go around the port. Go around the pole. So when you take the tent down, you're gonna have to take them clips off. Hmm. But, all these hanging loops, you shouldn't have to take these off, so you can still keep the inner in the tent, I think, yeah, I think that's it. Don't know, though. I'll have a look, I'll, have a, I'll have a, just have a look, see how it goes. I'm pointless doing it when you're trying to work it out, work it out. So they go, clip on there. There's another one there, and then these ones at the back. Oh, I'm stuck hitting the tripod. There's like hooks there that you hook them onto. So that keeps it all taut. Yeah, that should be alright inside. Have a look. Yeah, that's proper, isn't it? I'm gonna get the thing hung up now. Start from the back. Stop in here. Clip it in. Clip it in. Clip it in. Don't lie, cut in. You can. Don't lie, kneel on the tent stuff. <laughs> that is easy enough. Perfect. Clip one. Crump, crump. So that just the hook on there. There's five hooks there. Put the end ones out first, so you know if you try to clip the middle one first, you could end up with the wrong one. Work my, work my way in, and then you're left with the middle one. Right. It's taking shape, it's taking shape. And then this, this middle one here clips in. 
Yes. That's it. You dancer. There you go. Here's your tent up. So that took, it took a while because obviously I was just working out where things went. But now it's up. Like I see, you just unclip the clips. But you can leave the inner hanging. And you just fold it all up and roll it in. That should be alright. So look inside, there's got plenty of vents. Vents here. Obviously these windows. Not everybody's cup of tea. The guy lanes. It's four guy lanes. Surprised there's not one on here. Yeah, I'm pulling it out there. Another vent though. So we'll get that ventilation going through. And I want <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be alright. It's like uh under the Van Gogh Tempest. It's like that. So we're inside. Five thousand Hydrostatic head. All oh, rain's getting in there. All right, so what have we got in here? We've got pockets here and here. The pockets there. There's a lantern hanging hook there. That would have been better off than one at the front as well. Like you normally put your lantern here, don't you? We've got the porch for cooking. Oh yeah, easy. Easy to cook in here. You gotta stuff the. You gotta stuff the. Uh, this in the pocket, which takes up a pocket. They need toggles. So anyway, you've got your porch there. Plenty of room, isn't there? Plenty of room for cooking here if it rains. Oh, I want it to rain. Obviously, you've got the vents. I'm absolutely exhausted after that. <laughs> but like I say, oh, honestly, this tripod. Anybody got a recommendation for a decent tripod? Because this thing's not good. I'll put it here. Edit, it's terrible, this thing. Right. Shoes off. And two people. Easy. Two people in here, no bother. <laughs> I mean, if it was me, I'd have my head this end. That's how I, that's how I like to sleep. I don't like it. Good for the campsite. And I'll be using it next Saturday. So, like I say, this is not trade promotion, just a bit of filler content. Anybody interested in a hyena 2? It's £65 at Go Outdoors. But, like I say, I've got National Trust discounts, so I've got 58 quid. £58 for the tent like this. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a decent mirage, uh, mirage, a vango. Feels like a good vango tent. And look at all the space. And this, this ground sheet feels really, really thick. Don't know what the hydrostatic on that is. It's got to be about the same, 5,000, maybe it's more. It's a bit wind. So, anyway, tails. Tales from the tent, we'll uh, might do some filming on Harris and Uist, where we're going, Uist, but we're mainly going to be sightseeing, we'll see, they're going to be like wild, wild camping, I don't think we'll be more than a mile from the car at most points, but we will do some filming. So meanwhile, just keep watching these videos. The electric bike video. This, this is not a review. This is just, this is just me saying that I've got a new tent. Bit of filler. 
for like 10 stone. And what a bargain it was. What a bargain. I'm not going to complain at that price. I'm going to zip it up. We've got choices of solid mesh. There. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. You've got a choice of solid mesh and meshy mesh. Get the edges out. This is for your winter time. It gets cold. I don't like that. I like to keep that one open. Right, let me know what you think. Anybody got one? Anybody broken one? Oh, the rest of it. You don't want to score.